Hi, it's Andrea from Clubside Kids again. Um, happy St. Patty's Day. You've learned all about rainbows and about St. Patrick's Day. What we're going to do now is make our own rainbow. But not only are we going to make a rainbow and learn a little bit about colors, we're going to actually learn the science behind it. All you need for today are six clear cups. They can be disposable. They can be glass cups. You do want them a little bit smaller that you can see through. So you need six cups and then food coloring. The colors that you need for food coloring are the yellow, the red, and the blue. And then you also need water. So this activity, you also should have a tray because while you're gonna be able to see the results right away, you also want to be able to move it somewhere that you can let it sit overnight because something almost magical will happen overnight. So what you're going to do, you're going to take the six cups and you're going to set them out in a circle. And then you're going to fill every other one. mostly full with water. Then you're going to take each of um, your food colorings and you're going to put yellow a good amount. You don't want to, you don't want just a couple of drops. You want a good amount so that it's a rich color in the water. And again, when you do this, put this on a tray so that you can move the tray um, that it can sit overnight. And I like to just use a little chopstick to mix the colors. So now what you have is you have your different colors. Um, the next thing you're gonna need are six pieces of paper towel. I've taken half sheets and we folded them into strips. What you're going to do next is we are going to begin putting the strips, one strip in the colored water and then one strip in the extra bowl. Almost immediately, you'll be able to see that it's almost as if this water is defying gravity because gravity is the force that pulls things down. But if you're watching, the water is looking to travel up the paper towel. This is not magic, it is science. It is actually called capillary action. Cal capillary action is part cohesion, which is where the molecules are attracted to each other, and also part adhesion, where the molecules of the different things are attracted to each other. This is how the trees get water from the ground up through the roots if you've ever seen the science experiment of turning a carnation um, different colors by having it in colored water, it is the same principle. So what you want to do is put these close together. And you can already start to see how the, the capillary action is causing the water to be absorbed almost against gravity up the paper towel. Now, if that is not cool enough in and of itself, what do you think is going to happen when the blue and the red start filling this extra cup? What color is going to be made? So this is why this is a great activity to set aside and watch it over a couple of hours and the next morning because when you wake up you're going to have a walking rainbow the capillary action is going to actually take some of this water of the red water and put it into this empty cup and the yellow will actually do the same thing so at the end you're going to have a beautiful rainbow let us know how your rainbow works out and have a great rest of your day.